Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are going to put Microsoft Loop under the loop. I've been waiting a long time for that one. Anyways, we are going to compare um, Microsoft Loop to Notion and see whether or not it is as good as Notion or it at least can become as good as Notion. So if that sounds interesting, let's just jump right into it. So let's take a look at my social media dashboard. So this is uh, probably the best thing I have inside of Notion and it shows my personal social media, my clothing brand. It has something called without the plan that I use for quick capture and the ideas that have been used up. And one thing Notion offers is the, the fact that you can have multiple different views. Uh, and you can actually link back to databases. So let's go into my personal social media. Here you can see that this is the same database, but just with different filters. And if we take a look at um, Microsoft Loop, we can see that we have the same sort of functionality. You can have a database living in multiple spaces so i have the same database here as i have here but there isn't a way to actually uh, have the same filters across your databases so let's just try this out is youtube and if i apply this filter you can see that it uses the filter but it uses it in both spaces so there aren't a way to actually have multiple different views from the same database using different filters so that's the first big difference where i believe that um, microsoft loop still needs to catch up and the second thing i'm going to show you is a backlinking of pages so you can easily create a backlink by linking to a page uh, so for those of you who have been using Notion, this is quite easy, backslash link to page. So I could link to an existing page like I have done here, and I could just jump into the page from here. This is how you create those beautiful dashboards inside of something like Notion. You have the same functionality here as well. You can use the at sign, and I could link this back to my areas, for example. There are two problems. The first and most major problem is that it takes a lot of time for it to load. But the second thing is that it shows up like this. There isn't another view. I can't just have area like this and just press it and go to my areas page. Uh, while in Notion, it is much simpler. You get this social media ideas, for example, and you can just press it and go into it. So. That's also a huge difference, or not necessarily a huge difference, but it is something that makes um, Notion a lot better. And you have some of the same functionality here, where you can have pages underneath pages. You can do that inside of inside of Microsoft Loop as well. So I could have multiple pages underneath this. I haven't spent enough time building up my Microsoft uh, Loop, at least not my private one. I've done a lot of building in my work Microsoft Loop, but not in my personal. One thing Microsoft Loop has is the uh, ease of embedding different files. So you could embed all of your files from your Microsoft uh, account your microsoft or your office 365 as well as the different meetings you have had you can embed them into your um, page the same goes for people uh, you can uh, upload files into notion as well but it doesn't work as well as with um with uh microsoft loop and um, that is especially because microsoft loop has has an integration to the whole Microsoft 365 suite, which makes it a lot easier. So you could easily upload a file. Let's see if I have any files there. I should have one. 
Let's jump into my areas. So I have a lot of different areas, but it doesn't seem like I have any files here. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on is the different views. So in Notion, you can have a gallery view, you can have a Kanban view. There are many different views, just like in something like any type, which is the one I prefer if I am going to work like this with databases uh, my preferred app is actually any type but uh, you don't have the same view set up here uh, i can export it to excel but that's probably it you can't do much more you can add uh, sorts and filters as i said you can hide columns like you can inside of notion databases let's jump back into my database here you can hide different uh you can hide different columns like you can here but apart from that notion databases are probably much much better uh, so what i would say about the differences is that uh, microsoft loop is quite good but notion is still a lot uh, better uh, because of the different views the filters and just the overall experience of using the app it feels like and it probably is the fact that notion is a lot more developed but uh, this is a good start for the microsoft uh, ecosystem having something like um like microsoft loop and one thing microsoft loop has over uh, notion is the fact that it is integrated to the 365 suite so it might be a lot easier to get your boss to use microsoft loop than it is to make them use notion at least it is for me and as i showed you in another video the task list here it actually integrates to microsoft's planner which is another cool feature but the overall experience of using the app I would say that uh, Notion is a lot better and Microsoft has a lot of catch up to do. But overall, the apps look quite similar and have many of the same features. Uh, it's just that Notion is a lot more developed. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, if it's about Microsoft Loop, Notion, or any other note-taking app, please leave them down below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe, and I hope to see you again quite soon.